Welcome to the Hacked Existence tutorial for building a scrolling LED matrix. In this video we're going to talk about hardware setup, every all the different pieces that you need and the connections that need to be made. From there we're going to talk about software, all the different code and config that has to happen there. And then we're going to talk about building a Django backend that will allow you to control all of this via a web interface. Okay, so now what we have here is a 16 by 32 LED matrix. I picked these from, up from Adafruit.com. What we're going to do is send the signal from the GPIO on the Raspberry Pi into the board plug here using these female to female connectors. From there, you can daisy chain two or more of these uh, from this plug into this plug on the next board using this adapter that I got from Adafruit as well. Each of the boards is uh, independently powered. Uh, this plug goes in here on each of the boards. From there, it goes out into this barrel plug. And then that connects into this 5 volt, 4 amp power adapter that I have here. Finally, the Pi is going to be powered from a standard 5 volt, 2 amp micro USB power supply. All right. Now what we're going to do is connect up the GPIO from the Raspberry Pi into the first board here using these female to female connectors. The wiring diagram for this is available from Adafruit and we've also got it in the description below. All right, now that we've got those connected, we're gonna daisy chain them using this connector. So the output from the first board goes into the input of the next board, like so. The final step is the power. Um, what we're gonna do is take the, the first plug here. We've got one power and one ground that go to this barrel plug, which then plugs into the adapter and goes to the wall. And then on this same cable, we've got <clears throat> a power and a ground that we're going to solder into the second cable, power and ground. And that will go into this board here. We're going to go ahead and solder those together, and then we'll be right back. All right, as you can see here, we soldered the wires together, put a little heat shrink on them. Next, what we're going to do is take our positive and negative plug them into this barrel, barrel connector here. Positive goes in the positive, negative in the negative. Then we're gonna just tighten it down. All right, that's good. Take the power, plug it into our first board here. Power into the second board. We're going to keep these uh, wires on here, actually, if, in case we want to uh, tie some more boards in here. <clears throat> if not, you can just chop these down if you want. Finally, we're going to plug the barrel connector into our power adapter, and then plug our power adapter for our Raspberry Pi into that, and we're good to go. So at this point, all of the hardware is taken care of. Next, we're going to look at the software. Uh, getting all the code that you need and configurations that you need to do to get a message going from the Pi to the boards, which is what we're going to do by the end of the next video. Thanks and stay tuned.